Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the 3D printer build here. Now in part 2 we did the z-axis here and this has all been done with linear rails now so the wobble is like this is really tough, it's not really going anywhere and so that problem is fixed although it was quite expensive whatever. Now we have built this as uh, here of all of the extrusions. These are all leveled and parallel to each other. So now we're going to go ahead. We're going to put on the rails there and there. And then on top of those rails with T-nuts, the M3 T-nuts, we are going to mount the XY axis that we're going to build. And then we're going to see how this all works together, put it on the belts and test the whole system. Here we have both of the uh, XY axis rails mounted. Here, well, Y axis rails. And they are both mounted with T-nuts one after uh, the other with a gap in between each one because it's a bit overkill to do uh, at every hole. So they have all been mounted and squared off. They are uh, parallel to each other, I checked. And now these are all set up. We can go ahead and start assembling the XY axis components out with the pulleys and the whole gantry stuff. So let's get into the assembly. Here we have all the parts necessary for building the motor mount. Now there are two of these, but they are mirrored to each other, so I'm going to show only building one and the procedure is essentially the same for the other one. So, to begin with, you're going to take the 3D printed part and you're going to press fit a M5 nut. You can do this either by hand or advice, you shouldn't have much of an issue because the hole here is pretty well, uh, you know, calibrated so that it doesn't break or you don't have too much of a hard time. I did this by hand and it's really not going anywhere. So, next after you've done this, you're going to take your motor mount and you're going to insert the pulley so the shaft is flush with the top of the pulley and then you're going to go ahead and screw it in and there that is done next we're going to mount our motor to the construction right here now this will be placed like this so to make cable management easier i will put the motor in like this you're going to take these screws that have the nut on the end, so they are just the right uh, length, and you're going to put them in and screw all of them in. And once this, this is now all in, and then next we're going to put in the idler pulley. Now to do this, you're going to have to run the this uh, screw here, which is cut to the length less than this, so it doesn't interfere with the motor. You can cut this with a Dremel or something. You're going to have to put it in, and then you're going to have to get four of these little uh, rings here. Gonna run four of them in so you can uh, space the pulley correctly so that it aligns with the other uh, so the idler pulley can align with the belt pulley so you're going to put these in and you're going to take your idler pulley and you're going to put this all in and you're going to screw this screw into the nut you can use an allen or your hand honestly this is not doesn't have to be very tight it's just for the pulley to stay in place and there that's done and now lastly we're just going to put in the t-nuts so you're going to take your screws And there you go, this is essentially the whole construction. All the tinas are in, the pulley is in, they are spaced properly. And that's all there is about this. Now you just go ahead and do the same for the other side. And that's about it. Now we're going to go look at the idler pulleys that go opposite this. Here we have all the parts that need to do the idler uh, pulleys opposite of this. To begin again, you're going to take your 3D printed part and put it in a nut. At the end here with a vise. And then after this, you're going to take this screw right here and pass it through here. We want to do this first because otherwise this screw is impossible to get in after you put the bearings in. So take this and put a T-nut on it like this. Then take your long screw and run it through the top here. 
And once you have that, you need to take one of your pulleys, pass it through, run this screw through until it goes all the way through the pulley, and then get your next pulley, and do the same. And then once the screw is through, you can take your allen and screw this in so it can pass through the nut at the bottom. And there, that is done. And then lastly, just the two screws, Jesus, two screws and the T-nuts. So that's about it. This is literally all this part is. It'll just hold the belt uh, idle at the other ops for the Core XY system. And that's about it. Now we're going to talk about the X gantry. So here we have all the parts that are required on assembling the tool end. Now this 3D printed piece here is as very complicated, has lots of detail, and there will be a dedicated video talking about the evolution of this and the whole tool changer system, so we're not going to get into that now, but we're going to just talk about the assembly. So to begin this after you've printed this part, uh, it will be printed like this. If my hand was the bed, it would be printed something like this for minimum supports. And to begin, you'd have to get uh, M2.5 square nuts and glue them into the square holes here. This is for tension, this for holding down the belts to the tooling. You can probably get a better system than this, but this is all I could think of. And then you can get two uh, M3 2mm threaded inserts and put them here with a uh, soldering iron or whatever. And then these are M3 4mm thread inserts also here for the bottom cap. Now to begin, we are going to take this little coupler, this is a 5mm to 4mm coupler, and we are going to place the 5mm side onto our stepper motor, something like this. You have to, the stepper motor has two square little, if you can kind of see there, two square sides, so we have to align our grub screws with that, and you're going to take the appropriate allen and screw it in tight. And there, this isn't going anywhere. So, after we've done this, we're going to go ahead and place this whole thing into the tool in here. You're going to want to match up the holes with the thread inserts, and then you're going to want to take these screws here, which are M3 screws, eight, I think they're like 8 millimeters, and there's a nut on them, so they can have a, more space to go down. So you're going to take this, and you're going to attach the motor to the, to the mount. And just like that, the motor has been mounted to the tool end. Now we're going to talk about this piece here. This is the key, or however you want to call it, the thing that grabs onto the tool end. This is essentially a 4mm rod that has been stuck down to a 4mm to 4mm coupler with uh, the screws and also uh, glue. You can get a D-shaped uh, rod, which will make this easier. And then up here where the grub screws for the top coupler will go, I've drilled out the threads and stuck a nail on the end, which I've cut and trimmed the edges off. So this will essentially grab onto the key and spin to secure it in place. Now this needs to be exact measurement so it can all work properly. And after a lot of testing, which we'll talk about more in the tool changer video, this needs to be spaced about uh, 9.75 millimeters. So this here says 975 and we can take this and see what 975 would be. So that's about 975. We have to make sure we're correct here because otherwise uh, the tool changer you know, won't be working very well. It won't be able to grab onto the parts or it might just not hold them on uh, very tight. And after we've measured that, we take the appropriate uh, tool and we just tighten the screws. So 
So there you go, this is essentially all that you need to make the tool end, it's not a very difficult design. A cap goes down here at the bottom, so it holds this whole thing together, but this speed gene I'm printing an ABS one, because this whole system is ABS. And that's about it, now we're gonna go mount this on the rail and talk about that. So here is the X gantry of the system here. This is essentially a linear rail on a 2020 aluminum profile. The linear rail is 400 millimeters. And on the end here, you can see one of the parts that are attached to the Y gantry. This is just a part like this and a cap. Uh, this is essentially this mirrored. All it is is just uh, two T nuts and the screw is here to pull the T nuts and a press fit uh, nut. That's all you need to make this and just print the part. And uh, now we're going to take our tool changer here, there's the tool end, and we're going to put it on. We have to align so the key is on the inside of the printer. So we're just going to go ahead right now and screw this in. As you can see here, this is all connected now and you can spin around. And now to finish this off, we are going to take the other side of this and put it in here. These are meant to be a tight fit, so you know. And now you can go ahead and screw these uh, bolts here to tighten the whole thing, I will do that later and put the caps on and before but before you screw the caps on you have to put the whole thing on the uh, 3d printer so we're gonna go do that now so here we have the corex white gantry essentially built we have all the the idlers in all their places and all of them all of the these are screwed down to the rails you can see there are these two small screws they go all the way down to the rail same as this side here and there are idlers on the back as well and their own little thing for the core xy system and then there are the motor mounts these here are touching the extrusion and the back idlers are 13.5 millimeters off that bottom extrusion and so is this motor mount over here it is 14 millimeters and these are all mirrored essentially so that is the whole core xy system now the only thing remaining is to put the gt2 belts in they're 10 millimeter belts and see if it actually works properly and then that'll be it so we're gonna put the belts and we're gonna get back at it so here i've placed all the belts for both motors and as you can see when i move one belt both the tool end and the gantry will move and same for the other side if i move the one belt they will both move I would move both so you can see the force is cancelling out, but I don't have three hands. So anyways, that's about it for the belt. And that's essentially what this whole episode was about. It was about making the XY uh, movement system. And that's essentially been accomplished. Now, next episode, I wish to get started on the electronics. And maybe get some motor movement at the whole system and test it properly as a Core XY and see how straight it is and what adjustments will be necessary but that's about it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it uh, please like and consider subscribing because you don't want to miss out the next few parts where we actually get the printer moving and that's about it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you hopefully in the next episode goodbye